you know what? That was a good time to mention. Uh, we encountered uh, Kiryu, spoiler warning, <laughs> just now. And I was wondering, uh, the when he made his appearance, like the last stream or the stream before that, I was... I said out loud, oh, wow, like this is the first time that we're hearing his English voice because for so long uh, the Yakuza games have been only subtitled. The language, the voice language was always in English. But that's not entirely true because the very first Yakuza game, which I played, by the way, uh, back in the day on PS2. Okay, let me pause this and finish my thought was was in English. It was an English dub. And actually, they spent... Uh, Sega spent a fair amount of money uh, in terms of getting a really good voice cast to do the job. Um, let's see. I wrote it... I, I saved the page here. The voice actor for... for Kiryu in Yakuza 1. His name is Daryl Ku... Daryl Kurillo. I can't really pronounce that properly, but it's uh, K-U-R-Y-L-O. And he's done a number of other voice acting jobs. Uh, also quite notable was his uh, he voiced uh, the Punisher in the PS2 game in 2005. But in 2006, he voiced uh, Kiryu in the first, uh, the first Yakuza game. And when it came to making uh, Yakuza 2 and bringing that over to the States, they kind of switched gears and decided to go completely Japanese language. I think most people were pretty happy with that just because the overall presentation just kind of flowed better, right? And I think the talent that, it, that they had involved with the first Yakuza game, including Daniel Carrillo, Daryl Carrillo, uh, Eliza Dushku, and Mark Hamill, believe it or not, Mark Hamill of Star Wars and Joker fame. Uh, they're good. They're good actors. However, I think that in the time between then and now, voice acting, voice casting, the way these video game companies go about um, approaching all of these things when it comes to localizing a game for the English language, it's just improved so much more. Uh, even when you look at this game, the English dub is actually pretty, pretty good, I'd have to say. I'm never thinking to myself, man, I wish this, I should just play it in Japanese. No, I'm fully kind of immersed in the situation, right? And a part of that is because they actually use like a tech to have English lip sync. Like the lip sync is matched to English. And if you switch to the the Japanese language, the same applies for the Japanese language. That's something that has kind of been a recent development and definitely wasn't possible back then in the PS2. And, and that caused a lot of issues. Uh, Daryl Carrillo had mentioned um, when he was doing the work for Yakuza 1, he had to adapt the way he spoke to sort of match the lip sync of the original Japanese animations. And you see that a lot in a lot of animation too, right? Uh, to this day, they do that with, with voice acting. Otherwise, it just doesn't match and it looks awkward if there's sounds and, and, and if there's sounds coming out of like a character's mouth, but they're not moving in accordance to normal, what you would say is like normal, like mouth movements. Uh, so that's all to say that f from from Yakuza 2 and onward, we've been playing Yakuza games in Japanese language, right? And it's been fine. But starting with Judgment and now Yakuza 7, they've decided to kind of up their game, Sega, and have have English dubbing and I think that was also an attempt to like kind of broaden the audience too right and for the most part that's been I think they've been very successful with it you know kind of taking the lessons that Atlas had learned with with the Persona games as well but um, so going back to the appearance of Kiryu 
uh, I was like, oh my god, this is like the first time he's had an English voice, and then again, that's not true, as, as I've explained with Yakuza 1, and as it turns out, I looked into it, it's the same voice actor that from from this game, so many years later, from 20, 2006 all the way up to, to 2020, they had the presence of mind to keep that continuity there and get the same guy. And I think that is just so cool, right? Uh, uh, Square Enix does this a lot with their casting. Like in in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, you're effectively mm, cast. You have a job for life, right? Like uh, Sora... <laughs> Back in Kingdom Hearts 1, Haley Joe Osment, this little kid, you know, who was starting to blow up from, like, the movies that he appeared in, like, The Sixth Sense and stuff. And then, and then, like, up till now, like, Kingdom Hearts 3, it's still Haley Joe Osment, and he's, like, a man now. He doesn't look like a little kid anymore, anymore far from it. He barely does acting. I think he showed up in The Boys at one point fairly recently. But he's not really known for doing much acting these days. But, you know, Square Enix is still like, you're, you're Sora, man. And that's, it kind of reminds me of that. Sega was like, yeah, we're going to get this guy, Daryl Cur Curvillo, to be, uh, to be Kiryu so many years later. So many games in between. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, and we do encounter Majima in this game as well. And unfortunately, that is not the same voice actor uh, from back then. So in Yakuza 1, Majima was voiced by uh, uh, Mark Hamill. Again, Luke, Sk Luke Skywalker and the Joker from Batman the Animated Series. And you can tell that he was attempting to do a kind of Joker-esque performance with the voice for Majima. He must have looked at the character and how he acted and thought, okay, he's going to be like the Joker. Very, very, uh, very theatrical with a lot of bravado and stuff like that. And for this game, there's definitely that kind of connection there. Something vaguely Joker-like in terms of the performance, but he's not voiced by Mark Hamill. Uh, they they got Matt Mercer, who is, you know, also a very popular voice actor and and dungeon master now these days. Uh, I don't really play or follow Dungeons and Dragons, the tabletop stuff, uh, but he's super popular, and he did. And I'm assuming he may have voiced Joker in a Batman cartoon or DC Direct to video thing at some point because he seemed. It seemed like a very on-point kind of Joker-ish performance for Majima. But again, that's all very neat to me, that, that connection with the voice acting. And um, yeah, like uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like the English voices in games and anime kind of get like the short stick, like... Uh, People don't give it enough credit, and it's kind of like a thing that gets brushed aside in favor of the original Japanese dubbing. But uh, when it's done well, as it is in this game, it can really immerse you in a way that I don't think that the Japanese voice language can do if you don't understand Japanese. Right? But anyways, 